Beach Backyard. In this video, I'm going to take you with me as I do one very important thing to prepare for hurricanes. I do this every year. Uh, this year I looked around and realized I don't have that much to do in this area, but the area is making sure that your trees are dealt with during a hurricane, prior to a hurricane, so that when the hurricane gets here, you're not dealing with all that. And you don't have a lot of loose branches and stuff laying around. You've already dealt with it. So today we're going to look around the house and look at a few key spots. Let's get right into it. So the power lines are the first place I always look. We've got these 220 lines coming in from the power pole. And unfortunately, I have one mango branch, Hayden mango branch that's growing over here. It's just on the edge of being really dangerous. So I need to get that down. I'm gonna trim that one right back at the trunk of the tree. And then we have a bunch more that's growing up way too close. I'm going to back that all up at least about four feet. And then on the other side, we're going to just back it up again to four feet so that we don't have to worry about it coming down. You can see it's just beginning to get over top. We want to never let that happen again. I used to have a very large banana grove also on this side and uh, it is now moved so i don't have to worry about that but this is the last piece of the puzzle uh, so let's get this trimmed and then the next thing we'll do is look around the house to make sure there aren't any branches that are uh, close enough to the house to be house beaters because that's what happens to every branch once the hurricane comes pretty good there's still some really high pieces but there's no way I'm gonna get to them from that ladder spot in fact I really should deal with them all right let's kind of reposition the ladder <laughs>
with. I trimmed this bamboo stuff, bamboo back. It's Buddha Belly Bamboo. Lots of videos about that on the channel. If you're interested, I'll try to remember to leave a link right here. But this I trimmed back. So you can see it's away from the, uh, the house enough, and those canes are a good three feet away. That's enough clearance for that kind of thing. And as we go farther under here, You can see this soft tip usually is getting pretty big and it is actually not a super strong plant in high winds but I'm considering taking off these leaners. You don't want them over your house for a lot of reasons, not just uh, not just the winds but also the bugs potential. The bugs can rain down on your house from anything over your house so if you don't have things growing over your house you've already eliminated that possibility. And then around on the corner of the yard, we've got all things that are new, a bunch of moringa. And those moringa are gonna take a lot of trimming, but those trees are gonna be growing a lot like a shrub. So I don't have to worry as much. I'll keep them low by their nature, very bushy, because we'll be harvesting fruit off of them quite a bit. And also leaves to drink in tea. So hey, I hope you're getting your yard ready for the hurricane season. It is kind of a big deal. We've got three as I count them out in the Atlantic Basin right now, potential hurricanes. So they're coming and it's good to prepare now so that you're not surprised and have to do a ton of work all at once. Like these leaves that I have in the backyard that we're about to go uh, deal with, pile up, are going to be incredible compost. I love mango leaves as compost. They turn into compost very easily. And uh, so what I do is I lay the branches down and then they drop their leaves naturally. Then I can remove the wood. I'll take the big pieces of wood and use it as natural edging in the backyard. The smaller pieces I'll eventually put out to the, uh, to the, comp to the uh, yard waste. But one thing about mango that you should know, a quick note here, um, is that it has urishinol urish in it. I think it's urishinol in it. It's a type of chemical that's also in poison ivy and it's uh it's invisible but it's an oil and it gets on your skin it's just like having motor grease on your skin so it's very hard to get off and that's what people get get a, a poison ivy it's the exact same thing poison ivy they get a poison ivy like rash from trimming those things i was just trimming that's one of the reasons i'm wearing this it doesn't really affect me much but why get it all over me because to get it off is like getting off motor oil it's very very hard to get off you have to wash a lot I'm not affected by even poison ivy. I never have been, so I'm not affected by that. However, there are people in my family that are severely affected by it. And this time of year, there are a lot of people showing up in the emergency room with rashes all over them, not knowing why. And it was because they were exposed to mangoes and didn't know they had that sensitivity to that chemical, which I have a hard time pronouncing. <laughs> all right, so let's go back and pile up that mango leaf gold and uh, get this process over with. Okay, so if you look up along here, you can see there are a couple places where it's a little bit over, but not that big of a problem. I can actually trim this from the roof, so I might get that a bit later again. I'm just checking everything out, do the visual inspection. Let's keep going around the house. Now, if you see here, it's a rica palm is touching up against the house so that's a problem now probably what i'll end up doing is i'll go ahead and take down this cane probably maybe one or more maybe this one and leave the rest mostly on there i just want to get the big ones away this fruit will be harvested here in the next week or so
Look at my sweet pile of mango leaf gold. That's a lot of, it's a lot of compost. I'm gonna expect that this is fully, fully turned into leaves off the branch in about a week, week and a half. All right, so that whole process took me less than an hour. Now I have the peace of mind to know I'm not gonna have gigantic mango branches, which are very, very brittle, crashing down on our power line. There may be other things that take it out during upcoming hurricanes, but that seems unlikely now. Still have a little bit more trimming to do, but as you can see, this was a lot of work. And I think it's a good idea to hurricane prepare in a real way, uh, like managing your trees around your house as the first step. Thanks for watching your backyard. I hope you will subscribe and hit the thumbs up button on this video. If you found it useful, please use the links in the description to Amazon for anything you purchase on Amazon. And that helps us, doesn't cost you anything extra. Thanks for watching, eat your